Hey, Jay here, we got our latest project. This is a 2000, nope, it's not. It's a 1995 CR500. They haven't made these things in a long time. I think around 2000 or so was like the last year, 2002, somewhere in there, right? So 1995 CR250 steel frame bike. This thing was bought and did not look good at all. Uh, I should put a picture in here of what it used to look like. Anyway, this thing was pretty beat and a buddy of mine bought it. We fixed it up and we did a project for a dirt bike magazine. So this thing's ready to go to a dirt bike magazine. We couldn't do everything we wanted to do this thing, but we did quite a bit. So first thing we did was take the engine out and the engine been completely rebuilt. Got our hot rods crankshaft in there. Um, race tech engines bored the cylinder to the vertex piston that's oversized. We got our uh, reed cage, got a Boyson reed cage. Sudco has got, got the 38 millimeter carburetor, uh, updated carburetor, so for a little bit better jetting. FMF pipe and silencer is kind of the standard here. So the engine's been all rebuilt. We've got our Henson pieces in here with a Boyson cover here and a Boyson cover on the ignition side. Tusk uh, lever on this side, and we got some Tusk uh, brake lines as well. Uh, those have been done. The wheels, what we did, it's hard to find wheels complete um, that are good. So we redid the stock hubs. We used Faster USA, went through and uh, they go through and Cerakote these things and then put them up to some new Excel rims. So these things look mint. Also um, on the suspension, we had to get these things redone. I mean, being 20 whatever years old, these things are really old and um, we had to get them redone. So TBT went through the suspension Fast Company bars and some little bits here for the brake. Um, got our rear brake set up with the fact that Fast Company has this piece. Super Sprocks, chain and sprockets. Moto Seat did our seat cover for us and a new foam. The frame is, the seat base is a little bent. 350 for a used one on eBay if we're lucky. And we don't, there's no guarantee that's any better than the one we got. So we're just gonna run this seat for right now. Um, UFO has some cool looking plastic. Uh, Mylers, we went with our radiators complete just because it was bolt-on radiators and, and their hoses. Um, really cool, they're nice and strong. So we went with those. Um, and um, of course, when we had the part, we changed all the you know the bearings and linkage with Pivotworks, all their linkage pieces. Decal Works made a you know tremendous looking uh, kit to match, you know, our seat cover, everything to match. A little bit of retro right here, a little bit of new looking mixed with that with a flat design so really cool deal there um all balls has the the levers i mean the uh, cables um, those kind of pieces brake rebuilds all those kind of pieces we use tm designs does the chain guides um and that's really good the whole motor was cryo heat they go through and treat all the transmission and all those pieces so they did all that and a guy there's actually one that actually assembled the engine and then my buddy Austin, whose bike has put everything together and got it all ready for Dirt Bike Magazine. Um, we'll run a little bit of VP in here, just a little bit of C12 mixed with pump gas so that we you know, don't avoid any detonation under some serious big hill climbs. 500s are gnarly, so um, not for me for sure, but uh, they're kind of a novelty thing. Guys are you know, getting some more into these things. This one was so bad that the lower frame cradles had to actually, we, took it to a Harley guy who does frame fixing and stuff and fix some pieces that were actually eaten through. So had to actually do that on this frame. So when you're looking for a used two stroke to fix up, really look around that frame careful so you're not gonna have to do any of that kind of stuff and save you a bunch of time and money. Um, IMS pegs, Clark still makes a tank and it's like stock size. So that's nice on the tank. Um, and that's about it. a few of our works connection bits. Of course, we run on about everything, um, really nice stuff. Um, just an amazing looking bike. I think it'd be better just to sit as a showroom and you know start it in the garage. So cool bike. We're gonna uh, start this thing up, let you uh, hear it at least and uh, see it. Um, be cool to smell it, but that's about it. So uh, look for this thing in Dirt Bike Magazine and uh, videos on Dirt Bike Magazine coming up as well.
smoke is cleared. Austin started it. He had some boots on. There's no way I'm kickstarting this thing with my uh, bad uh, leg, uh, knee, Achilles. All that stuff is bad. No way I'm able to kick it. He got it started in about, uh, what is that, like five or six kicks, which, you know, not they're not fast. They got to be at top dead center like, whoo, big old man kicks. So uh, a pretty cool bike. It's going to be a fun story. So, again, check it out. We'll see you later.